Bro, bro, and bro again. Look, we back with Nino Brown, bro. This nigga, um, <laughs> nigga Usher was filling up on Alicia Keys, and I heard she got a husband or whatever. I don't know too much about it. I'm just watching because this nigga funny as fuck. Shit, go to subscribe to bro. Ain't no Valentine's time tomorrow. What y'all getting y'all girl? Put it in the comments. I kind of want to know. I'm kind of curious because I got my girl some shit, but I ain't going to say it because she might watch the video or whatever. I don't know. I'm about to go chill with her ass and shit tomorrow. Might not have no videos. So I'm about to, I'm about to have like four or five videos right now. I swear. I'm going to have four or five videos. But um, let's get to the fucking video with Nino Brown. My boy back with another video. Ain't he on the field? This nigga, he should get more uh, recommendation. Nigga, Usher was all up on the bitch last night, nigga. Swiss Beach woke up in the goddamn doghouse this morning. Cause Michael Jackson ass, dancer ass, looking ass Usher was all up on his beach. Stole that bit with a pair of skates on. Usher knew good goddamn well what he was doing last night. He but add in the first Act part of the video, bro. Any cool pro athletes. Tax Act is too focused on improving your tax filing experience. Also, none of them said yes. Tax Act, let's get them over with. He knew that Alicia Key was married. She knew her nappy head, bald head ass was married with a nice skin ass. He knew that. But the scary part is, Usher just got married this goddamn weekend to a woman that could go for Alicia Key's stepsister. Mm -hmm. So we all well, know his girl kind of ugly. That could go for Alicia Key's stepsister. Well, his girl ugly. I ain't lying. I'm sorry, Usher, but that ain't it, my guy. Martin Luther King did not fight for those rights, my guy. He fought for a beautiful white woman. Okay, let me not joke, because y'all going to clap the fuck out of me in the comments. But that's not what Martin Luther King fought for. Mary, this he fought for to get the thick white girls. That's what he fought for, my guy. Goddamn weekend to a woman that could go for Alicia Keys' stepsister. Mm -hmm. So we all <laughs> know that Usher ain't into them. Danny, are you okay? Are you okay? He ain't into them goddamn Kelly Rollins. He like his goddamn coffee lighter than Beyonce. The way Alicia Keys was hitting them notes on goddamn Usher, raggedy 46 year old ass. I could tell Swiss Beats ain't hitting her ass right. He be in up making beats, but he ain't beating Alicia Keys right. Come and tell you why. Usher slid up on them goddamn skates. He was on skates. He was on skates last night, <laughs> and he slid up on Swiss Big Bitch and knocked his bitch last night. Usher I didn't mean, I didn't even see the halftime show, bro. I was outside skating. Nigga, Swiss be somewhere in New York right now, punching the goddamn air. He want to fight about that shit. Alicia Key, your shit at the door right now. And that goddamn piano. Ah, uh, nah, that bro. That's violation. That shit out the goddamn door right now. Now when they She smiling, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you was my bitch, I ain't fucking with you no more, bro. Bro, you was smiling, not even pushing. I know it's a ha it's a performance. You gotta play the part, but bro, that's too far, bro. He behind you, hugging you, rocking with you on his pelvic bone. The fuck, the fuck, nigga, nigga, dead ass. I'm filing my divorce, bro. And I'm taking your ooh. Who Swiss Beats? I never heard his beat before. Swiss Beats. They said that's that nigga. Um, he make beats and shit. Swiss Beats. By how he felt about the goddamn halftime performance with Usher dancing all up on his bitch. He gave the most coochie whip answer of all time. He said, y'all looking at the wrong thing. Y'all see how good her dress look? How long it was covered all on the field? Y'all see how good they sang together? My boo. Now what I think, Alicia Key must be getting a big income tax return check. And she must be paying all the goddamn bills for Swissy to answer some shit like this. Cause ain't exactly. no way, Swissy. Supposed to be answering like that. You supposed to be going out. What kind of shit like that? She supposed exactly. to be paying all the bills. Is she taking care of your red, light skinned, Drake looking ass? What's going on? I ain't nowhere in hell. A real nigga finna answer like that, Usher. Nigga, you got to see me. 
We got to dance in the rain. <laughs> Nigga said dance in the rain. Bush have been messing up marriages since his residency in Las Vegas where he was doing that goddamn dance and that shit out there. Oh, yeah. Y'all see how he was messing up people's households? And the whole time, this Negro was married to a foreigner. One of them illegal immigrants that they letting in the country fucking up our shit. But y'all come at me low and let me know how y'all feel about Usher dancing there. Or do y'all think that was legit legal for him to be dancing up on Swiss beat bitch like that? Cause I feel that he broke every law in the marriage book and got them Swiss beat need to seek some alimony about that bull ass shit. Let me tell you something. Comment below, like this video, make sure you share this goddamn bit. I lost my voice. I'm hoarse, baby. My boo, we man, damn, bro, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, you my bitch and you dancing up on another nigga on stage, I don't give a fuck if you paying all the bills, I'm gonna go live my ass in a box somewhere, cause ain't no fucking way. I'm going to hit it the same. Every time I hit it, I'm going to be thinking about what happened. That's one thing about me, bro. Once you cheat, I can't like, I can't see myself taking you back, bro. Like, dead ass. Like, I just see that person now. I'm fucking now. I'm like, damn, that nigga was fucking in here, too. Like, it's, it's not mine anymore. I don't own it. It's like somebody stealing your haircut and putting st stock ugly ass shit on it and then giving it back. Like, I don't want that shit. You can have that now. I take the motor up out of playing, but look, uh, for real though, for real, bro. I wonder if they, I wonder if he gonna um say some shit on like Twitter or some shit. Cause if he say some shit on Twitter, I'ma let y'all know. I just don't even know who K Swiss or whatever he is. I don't know who that nigga is. I know who Alicia Keys is. Hella fine at. Hey, look, you see this video, Alicia Keys? Mm. Nah, I'm just joking, bro. I got a bit. Yeah, and tomorrow Valentine's. Nigga, tell me what y'all getting y'all bitch for real, though. I want to know. Like, dead ass. Shit. I ain't... I already got my, all my shit, though, so I don't need no ideas or nothing. I'm just trying to see what y'all doing. Like, like y'all my niggas. Shit. Y'all don't see yourself here, but I see y'all niggas watching my video right now with your eyes on the TV. I see you looking, bro. What's up, bro? Shit. Put, put y'all shit in the comments. Like, nigga, I ain't even too famous or none of that shit. Like, I'm just a regular ass nigga like you. Like, just vibing together. Shit, roll up your blunt. Do whatever you want to do. Chill. Watch some videos. Shit, I got another video coming in a few. Hey, look. When I get to this part of the video, I'm definitely just going to talk. So, don't be like, oh, this, that, and the other thing, man. The reaction is basically over. But me, bro. Usher got a... Usher. Bro. Bro. Bro, Usher, bro. That nigga don't nah, even looking like he aging or none of that. And I didn't even see Alicia Keys. I didn't. I thought it was just gonna be a um, a, um, Usher um halftime. And another thing, bro. Fuck Kansas City, bro. Fuck all y'all Kansas City fans too. I don't give a fuck. We still homies, but it's fuck you right now, cause fuck Kansas City, bro. Fuck Kansas City. Y'all had a. Hey, at least 49ers brought y'all niggas to have, bro. Next year, bro, I'm not even going to be in school no more, bro. If I see another K Kansas City um Super Bowl, I'm dead ass not watching uh, football again, bro. Like, that shit boring. Like, ain't when the Patriots just kept winning, that shit was boring. Ain't nobody want to see the same team. We had the same exact Super Bowl as last year. Am I right or am I right? Because, like, what the fuck? The same exact shit and the same team won. Ain't nobody want to watch that lame ass shit, bro. Like dead ass, bro. I'm getting tired of seeing the same shit every year, bro. Candy City this, Candy City that. They just got good all of a sudden. Cause I never used. It didn't even got fans around here now. <laughs> Niggas driving their car with the Candy City flag on it. Bitch, you wasn't a Candy City fan when fucking Michael Thomas and. Alvin Kamara on the Saints was doing all that good shit. Y'all wasn't fans then. Look, you know I me. Mean? Let me tell you how y'all them niggas bandwagons, bro. When I was younger, when the Patriots was winning, niggas was riding around with the fucking Patriot flags. Now they riding around with Kansas City, bro. Repping a team that's winning not gonna get you any bitches, bro. So why is you riding around acting like you always on a winning team? Y'all, I hate bandwagon ass niggas. Y'all niggas so fake. 
Me, I like underdog ass niggas. I be rooting for the under. Like, if I know a team trash, and I see them playing against a team that's good, I want the underdogs to win. That's just how I am every time. But woo, I style. Love y'all niggas. Get at me in another video. And y'all about to have another video. So, love y'all niggas. Just click the next video.